My name is Derek Haley and I have a Master's of Science degree from the University of Guelph and a PhD from the University of Saskatchewan. I teach veterinary students about the behavior and welfare of farm animals, that is the animals that we raise for food, and I also teach and mentor graduate students in these areas with a particular focus on cattle. Part of the five-year dairy research cluster that ran from 2013 to 2018, I was the principal investigator for a project looking at innovative feeding and management practices for young dairy calves. Our studies for the dairy research cluster were oriented around calf feeding, management, and housing, with a specific orientation to understanding group life. Our first study involved a national survey of dairy producers, our target audience for this work. We wanted to find out what management and feeding practices were being used on farms in Canada. We found that 16% of respondents to our survey were using automated milk feeders. With a high proportion of dairy producers in Canada still using manual milk feed or meat feeding their calves by hand, one of the first things we wanted to do was try and explore alternatives to the high cost investment that is associated with rearing calves using automated feeders. In a study that was led by Dr. Vasseur, we found that you could convert existing calf hutches into group housing systems and maintain the same productivity and health status that people were used to while having calves singly in, in hutches. One of our first studies at the University of British Columbia uncovered the significant variation that exists in how long it takes a young dairy calf to use an automated milk feeder. We then explored in a couple of different experiments potential ways to make the training of young calves to automated feeders more efficient. In one study we looked at, compare, at introducing calves to the automated milk feeding system at different ages. Introducing calves at a slightly later age did facilitate their learning and did result in them getting onto the milk feeding system sooner. Once established on the automated milk feeder, the volume of milk that calves drink is extremely important. We found that calves drinking high volumes of milk sustained higher weight gain over a longer period of time and also that the calves that consumed large volumes of milk early in life were less likely to become sick. We hope that you have heard about some of our results which have been published previously in the Milk Producer magazine. We have developed standard operating procedures based on our work for dairy farmers to consult in trying to figure out how best to introduce their calves to automated feeders and what factors they should consider in trying to make that more efficient. For more information about our studies and our findings, visit the Dairy Farmers of Canada research portal, dairyresearch.ca.